All right. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Uh, my name is Stefan Southwell from CompuTrack, and today we will be showing you the Alltech Document Management Solution, DocLink. So the goal today is to show you a more effective way to manage your everyday business and your processes and going paperless. Uh, we'd love for this session to be as interactive as possible. So if you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to type it into the chat box and we'll address them at the end. So uh, without any further ado, I'd like to present uh, Devon uh, from Alltech, the sales director for Easton Canada. Perfect. Thanks so much, Stefan. Um, like he said, my name is Devin Lildar. I'm the sales director for Alltech for Eastern Canada. Um, and hopefully today we'll be able to kind of provide you guys some insight as to how you can better manage some of those manual business processes that you're currently managing today and maybe don't have a whole lot of insight to. Um, so without further ado, so really the key thing to, to understand here is that we live in a world of instant access. Um, it's very easy for us to be traveling all over to new cities, find restaurants that um, might serve the food that we want, check reviews about those restaurants, and even look at those menus and book tables. Um, we can even get directions all from our phones within minutes. But when you look at our businesses today, it's not surprising that there's usually an exception there. It's not very easy to find things. For many of us, our, our expectations are severely lowered. When it comes to finding that critical data to help us make decisions and complete tasks at hand, it's often very difficult. The reason that it's harder to find something within our organizations, for one, is not all of the information that we use within our businesses comes to us in a format that's easily tracked. And not everything stored in a database can be easily kind of sliced and diced. We still communicate very much so with business partners and customers through documents. And some of those documents are very much still paper. But even if you're using digital documents, you still have to be able to track that communication and store its contents in a manner that's meaningful to yourself and everyone within your organization. And that's where document management comes into play. With DocLink, you're able to provide a meaningful way to store documents and translate those documents contents, that data, into something that's more meaningful for the organization that can be used throughout your business processes. Because finding documents within our companies can get complicated, it's, it's very important for us to think as we're listening to this presentation, how am I storing my documents today, right? Are they in different data silos? Um, do I have to run them across to different departments? Do I have to mail them? How many of us still have filing cabinets? Or maybe you have a network file share. And that's the step, a step in the right direction, those network file shares. But with software like DocLink, it, we provide you with greater control. We provide you with greater visibility and efficiency to allow your organization to thrive. Regardless of how you store documents, there are really common business problems that all of us face. Number one, there's several different silos of business data and documents, whether they be electronic or paper. So you think to yourself, where is everything? What visibility do I really have? Think about those inefficient workflows. How long does it take to get anything done? Or the lack of visibility that yourself or your CFO or COO might have. Security and compliance is a huge thing nowadays too. Is everything secure? Can you produce documents for your auditors very easily and quickly? Or does that take a lot of time? Think about those operational inefficiencies. How many delays have you experienced due to storage, transport, or misfiling of documents? All of those things relate to costs for the organization. So we get to the last point, the inability for your organization to maximize profits. There's hard costs like storage, supplies, postage, but think about those soft costs like cost avoidance and looking out for ways for your organization to save time through labor. There are three simple questions that we at DocLink ask everyone to kind of ask themselves when they're considering a solution that can help them through 
creating more efficiency with the data that already exists within your organization. Think about if your current system requires a lot of touching, moving, and filing of documents. Are you losing documents on a regular basis? Are you able to, as an organization, put your hands on the documents in a timely fashion that will make sense for your business to make those quick, quick decisions? Or what happens when a customer reach out, reaches out to you calling for um, you know, that, that invoice that you had sent them last week? Is that invoice hard to find, hard to get access to? Or what happens when you have to recreate them? There's also the cost to recreate that same document. Are your approvals processes manual and inefficient? So what does it take to get a document approved? How does a document arrive in your organization? There's huge cost benefit with DocLink and the integration that we provide to Sage 300. And that allows for a single point of entry. You know, you can enter your same GL coding right from DocLink as you would within Sage without having to use that Sage user license. How much time do you waste on data entry and filing? See, if, when you think about it, the moment a person touches a document, errors can happen. They can be misplaced, they can enter in the wrong information. And what would that mean to your organization if you could reduce those keystrokes and, and the frequency of mistakes? What could your business do with that free time? But we're not here to complain about all the problems that we have within our businesses. We're here to talk about how we can solve those problems through solutions. And our solution to your business challenge really is DocLink. So what is it? What can it do for you? It allows you to capture and index documents in all shapes and forms, really from anywhere. It allows you to search and retrieve those documents from any device within the DocLink repository. It will allow you to utilize configurable automated workflow paths to speed along your business processes and, al and also automate the output of documents in any method that your recipient wants them. Now, all of that is really great, right? And you're probably thinking, wow, this is actually something that sounds like it can be something that can solve all of my business problems. But really, there's more. In addition to the standard features of what regular document management solutions provide, DocLink also takes it a step further, and we have developed something called smart forms, which are really, you can think of them as configurable windows. They can be used to enhance and personalize the way that DocLink works for you, your specific employees, and your specific processes. And they can really be configured any way you want so that your organization can use those windows so that Doc, DocLink can work with any document, any process, and really anywhere in your business. Now, we have some, some cost-saving kind of um, success stories here to kind of walk you through so that you have an understanding of the types of organizations that have implemented DocLink in the past and how much they've saved over the years. So we have a Midwest manufacturer that has really been key to um, understanding and helping other organizations understand what those costs can be when you're looking at storage and retrieval charges. So they were using they were using an off-site kind of um, organization to come in, like, like Iron Mountain, to come in and take those documents away, store them in separate data boxes, and they would have to understand exactly where those documents were, in which box. And um, because this organization was larger, over the years, they racked up a bill of $85,000 a year in just storage and retrieval charges. That means that Every year, they were not only storing more documents, but they were now storing, they were now paying additionally to go back and retrieve those documents in times of audit or in times that the organization internally needed to access those documents or pay to send those documents out. Another organization that we worked with was a government uh, software developer, and they had several locations across the United States and they were posting um, all of their documents, be it invoices, purchase orders, whatever it was, they were posting them all to their head office at one main location. And annually, 
this organization, we helped them to come up with the ROI. They were paying $11,000 a year in US in just postage, postage fees. Now, you might be thinking you're not exactly within that category. Maybe you don't have several locations. But if you're, if you're still sending out documents in the mail to a head office, or maybe you're the head office receiving those documents from your several locations, this could be something that could help you to reduce those costs and streamline the way that people access and, and work through documents and, and actually work through their um, processes. So not all savings are visible with the thought of hard dollars. As your business grows, all of the information you have to work through can be unmanageable. But with the proper tools in place, you can expand without needing to add headcount. An investment firm that we worked with, a customer of ours that was rapidly growing, and they really you know, didn't want to have to continually add labor costs to their bottom line, decided that DocLink was the right move for, for them. They were able to expand their organization without necessarily adding headcount. When you think about it, average salary for somebody, maybe just an AP clerk, or maybe somebody that you're paying a temp worker to organize documents every summer. Those salaries add up. And if you're looking at an average salary, $48,000 here in the GTA isn't, isn't really unheard of. That's probably about normal, if not more. And that's not even including the benefits that goes along with that employee. Now, if you think about implementing a solution like DocLink, Doc which is a robust enterprise-wide solution, you can definitely see ROI within a year, year and a half after implementation. And those were just examples of results. But you probably want to know, how did we get there? And let's look again at some of those business problems that we mentioned earlier. So silos of business data. And it, they really do plague everyone. Think about if information is scattered everywhere, and maybe your departments have individual storage practices. But at Alltech, we really want to be able to help you guys get everything and have access to everything from one single data silo. And DocLink brings all types of documents and data into one central place, no matter what that information is. Our robust ability to capture any document for any process allows you to stomp out silos and be able to search and retrieve whatever you need. Now, we have, we have clients across North America and really the world now, and some of these clients are using DocLink to store AutoCAD files um, as they work through projects, store images if they're a marketing firm, store legal documents if they need to reference contracts and things like that, or maybe if they're just a legal firm that's looking for um, specific items to, to reference for a specific case. Now, the application for DocLink really is, is industry non-relevant. It's something that can apply to any industry and really any department and can be configured in a way to match exactly what your existing business processes say. And if not, we can help you work with one of our consultants to understand how we can make that process a little bit more efficient so to make your organization more successful for growth. Now, I want to emphasize DocLink's ERP integration. Without a seamless integration, your alternative would be to do double entry or enter information into your ERP like Sage 300 that wouldn't necessarily flow into your document management system. DocLink provides flexibility on how you want to manage things like GL coding. So single point of entry is, is you're able to do that with DocLink. You can enter that information directly into DocLink and, again, not have to use that Sage 300 license that you, would net, that you would have locked down for the day. Your AP clerk could actually live in DocLink and use DocLink to process those transactions a little bit more swiftly. And again, we're also Sage's endorsed document management solution. So that's something really, really good to rem remember for all of us. Um, We've gone through several years of being Sage's endorsed document management solution. And what that means is that Sage sees that Alltech is able to provide its customers 
with a robust solution that will mitigate around any errors or any any issues that would result otherwise with another document management solution. And when it comes time for upgrades and updates, it means that your organization can rest assured that those upgrades and updates will fit seamlessly within your Sage 300 solution so that you're not paying to customize and configure a separate custom, custom integration to your ERP environment. What's more is we also allow for direct access to your documents stored in Doc, DocLink from Sage 300. So if you look here at this slide, you see that View Documents button? Now, this View Documents button is placed on several Sage 300 screens. And what that means is, is if you're in a transaction or if you're looking to audit a transaction internally, any, anyone who has the user permissions can click on that View Documents button and any document that is relevant to that transaction will pop up. So that means that documents can be linked and that they're easily accessible no matter where you're working, either within the ERP or within DocLink. Or from a web client or a, or a mobile device. So DocLink can be accessed from either an iOS or Android device or from any web browser on your existing workstation. So it provides you that that kind of um, that kind of ability to choose how your your employees want to access those documents. Now with all of that visibility and the disruption of business data silos, we're able to tackle the problem of inefficient workflow. So let's dig into workflow a little bit. A big issue I hear amongst my clients is needing to get faster approvals. So think about what it would mean to your organization if you could speed through the approvals process. Would it mean taking, it, taking advantage of early pay discounts or avoiding late fees? How about being able to alert someone that they had a document that needed to be approved or even alerting that a document has stalled in a particular workflow place and requires automated or manual escalation? Let's say your approving manager is going to be away or unable to respond to requests in time. Say they're sitting on a beach in Miami. They can use DocLink to delegate to the next approving authority while they're away. And think about that. That's really powerful because there's no more questions as to who has a document once someone returns or once someone's away. It would be really nice to come back to your office and know that everything that would have otherwise fallen on your lap is now taken care of and has been delegated to someone else within the organization. Think about lack of visibility, the security and compliance that we talked about. Is everything in your business secure? A top question that we get during the sales cycle is really about security, especially in today's age. And the question is, can I grant specific rights to specific users? And so that, that's not necessarily meaning security from outside coming in, because DocLink is secure in that way as well, but internally, are you secure? Are employees able to access things that they might not necessarily be, be needed to access? Are they able to maybe change those documents, overwrite those documents, or overwrite that data? And the answer is a, is a yes. You know, with DocLink, we can get very granular with our user permissions. And permissions are given on a per user basis to documents and data, which can be filtered through any number of criteria. So that could be if you have multi-company set up, it could be through departments, document types, or even property values. How about if you could grant customers and vendors access to documents based on your restrictions? How much time would you save answering questions or increase customer satisfaction by allowing self-service to access those documents? Going back to our example of someone calling in and asking for an invoice, we can even set up a portal so that your customers or your vendors can go in and access those documents that they need that they would otherwise have to call in and ask you for. Now, we also have 
another uh, publishing company that we kind of want to talk to you about. So we have a client who went through many, many tax audits. And year over year, they kept on getting audited, but they were having a lot of trouble finding where those documents were to produce them for their auditor. And in the end, because they were such a large organization and because it was a repeated offense, they were penalized $100,000 because they weren't able to make the proper documents visible and available. Now, that's a, that's a large cost, and that's probably more than what the average client would pay for DocLink. When you think about those costs, if your organization is consistently getting audited, um, or if, even if internally you're consistently having trouble finding documents, DocLink is able to provide you the flexibility to produce those documents very easily through easy search and retrieve criteria, but as well, when you look at auditors, provide access to documents through a light version of DocLink that they can download documents to and provide that to your auditor so that they can search independently. Think about if you do struggle with compliance and producing all of those documents when audit time comes. You have to have team members pull and prep documents, hand them off, and then refile after the audit. But with DocLink, that's not necessarily the case. Again, what I had mentioned before, you can choose a set of documents for your auditors to access. You can download these images to be saved and sent to them, or you can either save everything with a light version of DocLink, kind of like a, a, a search engine, and you can provide that USB key or um, CD to your auditor for self-service find. And it's really that simple, and it's much more organized in that way. Your team and your auditors will really thank you for this. And when we think about clients that have used this functionality, what's happened is, is that they've actually seen the amount of times that they've, they've been audited reduced. Now let's talk a little bit about operational inefficiency. This is likely all throughout your organization in really obvious and most often hidden places. Regardless of how a document comes into your business, DocLink allows you to safely capture and index its data automatically. DocLink gets that information through emails, faxes, scans, barcodes, and OCR, and can automate the indexing as that data comes in through pre-configured templates or ones that you've built yourself. That means that there's no more printing, there's no more copying, filing, and matching of documents manually. It allows you to save time on reconciliations and matching. You can manage by exception rather than by looking at every single document and input. Streamline paper-based matching. An example, purchase orders against packing lists. No matter what the style is, project-based, three-way matching, two-way matching, DocLink can provide you with that, with, with that efficiency and support. It'll allow you to minimize data entry during processing by leveraging existing ERP data. It'll allow you to input a vendor code by bringing in that vendor name directly from your ERP. It'll allow you to reduce human error through each step of the way and support a mobile workflow, so whether they workforce, whether they be a salesperson or yourself, if you're a manager or a CEO that wants to go and take vacations on a regular basis, it will allow you to do things like that and know where everything in your organization stands at a very simple kind of look at your document management view. It will provide you access through all mobile devices. And that means that it offers you agility and agility to your staff. It's really easy. It's a really easy and early point of capture for documents. If you're thinking about things like expense reports or you're thinking about going to a client site and maybe you need to capture information for a project. Um, and we can even allow for, you know, several different uses, regardless of what that may be. You can really use DocLink Mobile to help you to capture those images and have them attached to documents that that will provide that data to the organization very streamlined. 
did you know that you can capture a document via the mobile application? But you can also configure a smart form to handle incoming information from your device and turn it into an efficient way to manage your own team and data. So we've even worked with companies to set up time capture through smart forms for PJC in Sage and have that information flow directly back to your Sage PJC module. Now we're on the home stretch and I thought it would be valuable to visit the costs of doing business manually. And many people are really so close to the processes that they, they may not have had the opportunity to really consider what the costs of doing things manually are. And there are both hard costs that we had mentioned, storage, supplies, postage, but also soft costs in terms of time saved. To maximize your business needs to examine where it can cut its spending, we did an analysis on average spend. And we came up with a very conservative $11,600 in savings based on paper supplies, copier machines, contracts. Now, how much are you spending to maintain your paper manual-based organization and those ancillary services? Or off-site storage. And we saw earlier the savings of $85,000. And is that worth investing in technology to solve? If you're spending $85,000 a year, the answer most likely is yes. What would it mean if you could free up time and go after strategic initiatives? And how much would that save in full-time employee costs if you could grow without adding headcount? These really are just the tip of the iceberg. As common business issues that plague organizations and compel them to consider document management, I want to ask you what your next step is. Think about if I can help you with a business process review, um, we, can, we can work together to create the ROI with CompuTrack, and uh, we can also provide you with product demos to help you kind of get a little bit more of a visual if this wasn't sufficient enough. So if there is anything that we can do to help you understand what the potential savings could be, what Doc, Doclink can do in terms of, of uh, functionality, please don't hesitate to reach out to either Stefan or myself and we'll be more than happy to answer your questions and provide you the support that you need to understand how you can get to a more efficient place with your business. Now, if there are any questions, we'll be happy to answer them. Or, Stefan, do we have any questions? Uh, yep, there's a couple in the chat here. Um, I guess I'll read them out to you. Uh, the first one is, do users of the smart forms need to have a Sage user? Nope, so that's a good question. And um, we, I think we did talk about it a little bit, but your Sage users um, don't necessarily quant correlate to what your Doclink users are. So you can have different sets of user counts within Doclink and within Sage and by using Doclink, you actually free up some of those Sage licenses, making it a little bit easier if you're finding maybe you're getting locked out and you don't want to um, add additional Sage users. You can have people like your AP clerk live within Doclink instead and do all of the coding within Doclink. All right. Uh, another question is, can the approvers be done over the web or mobile device? Yeah, so the question is about approvals. Yeah, can so, you access DocLink remotely with a web or mobile device? Yeah, okay. So definitely you can. Um, again, we have several different flavors of what DocLink um, can be. We are an on-premise solution. Um, and so what that means is, is that the solution would generally be housed within your server environment, but we also have the mobile applications that can be accessed through iOS or Android devices, so tablets or smartphones, or it could be accessed through your web browser using configured URL. All right, and I guess this is a follow-up to that, is um, the workflow documents. So if they have approvals for workflow documents outside of accounting, 
does your work does your workflow support other documents besides invoices? Yeah, so we can support multiple workflows. So what that means is is you can have a, a separate workflow for your invoices and have that differentiate from um, a workflow for HR documents that would generally flow to different individuals within the organization. And with user permissions, we can we can ensure that individuals within the organization aren't accessing documents um, that don't pertain to them. So definitely Docklink can handle multiple different document types. All right, great. That's all I have in the chat for now. So if anybody has any other questions, feel free to type it in now. I guess I guess that's all the questions they have. You were pretty thorough. Okay, okay perfect. Um, you know, I tried to give you guys a lot within a 30, 34 minute, 35 minute time span. But again, you know, think about the things that we talked about. And if there's anything that pops to mind when you go back to your desk and you look at the paper, that, that stack of paper and think about if there's a way that you can do it in a more efficient manner, please reach out to Stefan or and he'll he'll be more than happy to um, forward you on to myself, and we can have that conversation mutually, and we can understand you know if it is the right move. And don't worry about um, you know if you're thinking that you might waste my time, it's it's never a waste of time. You know we can provide as much support as you guys need, so don't hesitate. All right, great. Thanks so much, Devon. Thanks everyone for your time, and enjoy the rest of your afternoon.